These fire ants in a University of Texas laboratory are under attack. You can see flies flying around and they're down there attacking the ants in the trays. Biologist Larry Gilbert is studying how to slow the spread of imported fire ants using forid flies from the same part of South America where the ants originate. So there in its native range where it is not a pest, there have been over 20 kinds of flies identified that are specifically attracted to it and attack it. Researchers believe Solenopsis invicta came to the United States in the 1930s in cargo from South America. Gilbert says these imported ants were kept in check by their environment back home in Argentina and Brazil, just as fire ants native to Texas are under control here, partly by forid flies. The fly lands on a fire ant and injects it with an egg, which then grows into a pupa inside the ant. These host ants eventually leave their colony in what Gilbert calls the zombie walk, while the developing fly within them eats everything in the ant's head except the brain. The main food in the head are the jaw muscles. So the, the fly does finally eat everything, but if it just ate the brain to begin with, it wouldn't get the zombie walk. <laughs> you know, it needs to be kind of driving the ant. What happens next is even more grotesque. It cleans out the head and then when it forms its pupa, the head of the fly, the head of the pupal fly is poked out where the jaws of the ant used to be. So it would be like us having something like this. I'm glad we don't. And you're walking down the street and all of a sudden you feel funny and your head falls off. And then there's this, this alien sticking out your mouth. Gilbert says flies kill only a small percentage of the ants, which number around 30,000 to a colony, but the flies' attacks disrupt the efficiency of an ant colony's vital system. We're dealing with a shift in the economic advantage in terms of retrieval of food for making babies and for growing your colonies, and that may be the, the story. Gilbert hopes the introduction of the forid flies that attack only imported ants will prevent them from disrupting the local ecology. But the southern United States have also become the staging area for a kind of reverse invasion as fire ant colonies find their way into U.S. cargo being shipped to foreign ports. They're now in China and they're now in Australia, sadly enough. They've spread out of uh, ports near Brisbane and um, that's a real tragedy because of the unique nature of the Australian uh, fauna. But the fire ant from South America is not the only problem. Fire ants native to the United States are also showing up in other parts of the world where, free from their natural controls, they become a menace. That ant um, is in the Galapagos in India and different islands in the Pacific and I think maybe Southern Africa. Um, and, it, and it's a pest like, like the South American uh, Solenopsis invicta is here. Experts say that with international cargo traffic growing steadily, invasive species like the fire ant are likely to spread even further around the globe. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Austin, Texas.